Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God so much, beloved, for giving us another blessed day today. We bless the name of the Lord for how far He has brought us. Today is another glorious day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad in it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God so much for your life, and I bless Him for giving us this opportunity once again. You know, to come on this platform to share the word of God on about the importance of you know Christian values or godly values, you know. So today you're gonna learn about some of the Christian values that God expects us, you know, to keep among us. Whilst we are still on this earth, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of God. Mm. Raka baratata re kataka bahato shi andere te te reke bere do siata masin te reke bere do libra shata kabahada. Father, we thank you, O oh God. First of all, I just want us to open our mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank God for how far He has brought us. Let's glorify the name of the Lord for giving us another opportunity to see another blessed day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, all the worship, the adoration of God. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, we bless your holy name. Rasha kabarado le brasa takabahato siate. Rasin de regeberado le brasa takabahata tan. Rasanda la kabarado siatata. Resha takabahata ta masha takaparato siata. Asindere tete le brasa takapahatu siata. Yandara kabarado le brasa takapahata tan. Rasete kepetete resha takaparato siata. Mashanta rapapara kapahata. Repara kabarado le brasa takabarado siande. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. I want you to open my mouth and pray the Lord as the message is about to come. May it come and then touch your heart. May the Lord give you your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Rasha Kapahatata. Lord, your word has made us to understand that, Lord, your message does not come and return void, but it comes to accomplish the things that it's supposed to do in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, as your message is about to fall on a fertile soil, may it bear fruit, O God. May it germinate and bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Kapahatata, Rashata Kapahatata, Rekata Kaparatosiata, Masinde Retete Regeberede, Libra Shata Kapahatata, Rashata Kapahatosi Handaragabaradisiante, Le Kabahatosi Kabahatate, Rashanta Kabara Paparacabarada, Reshata Kapahatosi and the Regeberedosiata. Rasende regeberedo libra sata kabaradi yandara gabarado si kapahato si yandere geberedo si atan 
Lord, we open our spirit, O God. We open our heart, O God, for your message, O Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord, you know the importance, O God, of keeping your values. You know the importance of having your values in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ, O God. We thank you, O God. We thank God so much. We bless the name of the Lord so much for the invisible fight that he has been fighting for us in the name of the Lord Jesus. And today it pleases the Lord that I bring you his message. And we're going to dive straight into the word of God. And today our topic is the importance of, you know, uh, uh, keeping Christian values or godly values it is very very important that we get to know what some of the values are and the reasons why we should keep them you know the importance of christians having certain values or integrities in their lives hallelujah and i'm just gonna jump straight into the word of god in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm gonna read a little bit of a story in the bible and then we stand on it to pray you know, if you read the book of Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 downwards, it says that now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shina and they dwelt there. Verse 3. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had bricks for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. Verse 4. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves let us least we be scattered abroad you know over the face of the whole earth verse 5 but the lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built and the lord said indeed the people are one and they all have one language and this is what they begin to do now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them there's nothing that they propose to do would be withheld from them you know this is the story after you know the flood that you know uh, Noah made the ark and you know the flood came Sodom and Gomorrah all those kind of issues so the flood came and after the flood the only generation that was still alive was Noah his children his uh, his three sons and uh, the wives of you know his uh, sons in other words like his daughter-in-laws and the Bible said that after the flood, you know, they started producing again. They started producing again. And then they produced for like over years, you know, hundreds of years. They produced so much that the earth started filling up again. Like people, you know, a lot of the, the population of humans started increasing again after the flood. Now the Bible said that it got to a time that all the people, all those people started making a journey because there was only one language that they were speaking during those days they were speaking one language so whatever anybody says everybody understands and they do according to you know whatever they discussed about the Bible said that they came to a land when they came to that land they said to themselves that now we need to settle here and for us to settle here, we have to 
do something on this land first of all we have to build we have to build you know to the heavens into the skies you know build you know big big uh, you know towers into the heavens so that when we are gone we will be remembered by our you know great grandchildren that are yet to come the bible said that when they took this idea they all agreed and they started working on it when they started working on their plan to build you know uh, uh, towers into the sky the bible said that god saw it and then he came down when he came down he saw what the sons of men you know have done and what they are still doing and god thought of it and said to himself that it is true that the people that i have created they speak one language there is no division among them so whatever they decide to do and because they are united whatever they decide to do nothing can stop them nothing can stop them hallelujah i'm drawing your attention on some of the values as children of god when god created us right from the days of adam and god gave adam the power you know god gave adam the power and the authority over everything that god has created the Bible said that God created Adam in his own image. So the values that were in God were transferred into Adam. Hallelujah. The values that were in God were transferred into Adam. And it was through Adam that Noah came into existence. And it is it was through Noah and his children and in-laws that the population started increasing again so you could see that the values that were in adam some of them are still in us or if i can say all the values are still in us because we are descendants of adam so if the values are still in us it means that we we still have the godly values god kind of values god kind of you know uh, 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 integrity in us that needs to be what that needs to be adhered to if you read the bible one of the things that the bible says that the people came into agreement with first of all they had one language hallelujah they had one language number two they understand each other they understand each other number three they were united unity they were united number four they you know they kept to their promise they kept to their promise hallelujah you know if you are a child of god and you want to see some increase in your life, like in your spiritual life, in your physical life. It is not always about, you know, praying in one direction and forgetting the other direction. When it comes to the teachings of God, there is a principle. And anybody that is a child of God, you know, adheres to the values of God. They adhere to the values of God. In the days of Noah, those people that were building the tower, the tower of Babylon, the people that were building, you know, they adhere to the value at that time. And so nothing could separate them from doing the things that they decided to do. Nothing could separate them. The same thing when it comes to you, as a child of God, nothing should be able to separate you so far as you adhere to the values of God that is in you. And like I said, one of them is unity. 
if you are a child of God, God requires you to be in one agreement with your other or with your fellow child of God to help propagate the kingdom or the gospel. Without unity, the gospel cannot get to where it's supposed to go. Hallelujah. So unity is very, very important because it increases pro you know, uh, 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 production. Even at a normal working place in this physical world that we live in, the company or the business requires you or you and the other colleagues to understand each other, to work together as a team so that the company can have mass production. In the kingdom of God, unity is very, very important. And it is one of the values that as a child of God, you need to keep. Not for any other reason, but to ensure that there is mass production, you know, by spreading the gospel. Now, without unity, division comes in. When division comes in, in between, you know, children of God, it reduces the production level. You know, it diverts your attention, you know, from doing the things that you're supposed to do as a child of God. And then it fails your production level. But if you are united as a child of God, if you are united with your fellow, you know, Christians or children of God, the two of you, you know, obtain certain kind of power certain kind of authority you know to propagate the gospel or to help in building you know the gospel hallelujah one of the things that when you read the bible says that they were speaking one language the people spoke one language so they were able to understand each other hallelujah as a child of God, we also have a language that we speak. And that is the language of love. Hallelujah. You cannot be a Christian or a child of God without love. It does not exist anywhere. So one of the Christian's value or godly value that a child needs to obtain or work on is what we call love i'm talking about the agape love of god the unconditional love of god a love without understanding and we're gonna go straight into the bible very soon to 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 understand these things that i am saying that first of all without unity you can't do the things that you're supposed to do it is a value, it's a Christian value that we must adhere to. Hallelujah. And love is also another Christian value that we must adhere to. These two things are very, very important because indirectly they increase, you know, uh, uh, how do you call it? They help in spreading the gospel. The gospel alone. It's not standing at a place and saying Jesus loves you. Come and you shall be saved. But as a child of God, your way of life, the character you portray, hallelujah, can automatically convince another person to come, you know, into your kingdom. Or to come and, and, and go on the same journey with you, hallelujah. So I'm going to read for us to see. It says that we love because he first loves us. That is 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. We love because... So first of all, you see, you know, the reason why we should keep the value of love, we should obtain or act on the value of love is not because of anything but because it was first demonstrated to us by christ 
it was first demonstrated to us by the master that we are looking up to who is Jesus Christ and God also demonstrated that love to us by giving us his only son so for us to act in love is not a new thing to God it is not a new thing to God but it is something that the enemy doesn't want you to practice because the enemy knows that the moment you begin to walk in love or keeping the value of love, you know, it is to his disadvantage. And as a child of God, we are in constant spiritual war, you know, with the unknown spirit. We are in constant spiritual war. That is why the, 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 the enemy does not want you to even be united with your fellow Christians. Hallelujah. So, first of all, we love because Christ first loves us. So, it is not our choice to love. But it is, you know, being planted in us. Because it is part of God. And God created us in his own image. So, love is automatically part of us. We only need to demonstrate it by working in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And also, if we read, you know, the Bible, God even testified that because the people are united, you know, he said that, but God came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, indeed, the people are one. The people are one. And they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they propose to do you know can be hindered that is god speaking so god himself has even testified the importance of unity and if i should draw your attention on this the enemy also knows the importance of unity knowing that if you are united you can conquer more than if you are divided hallelujah that is why even when we are praying, we say that one shall kill a thousand, but two shall kill ten thousand. It means that even if two comes together to make an agreement on something, they are able to conquer more. In the kingdom of God, unity is a value that we need to keep. It is something in us. We just need to clear every other thing and demonstrate it. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Rasha kabarados yata. We're going to go on to our next, you know, Christian value that we need to keep in our, you know, within our local surroundings, our local church, everywhere we find ourselves to be. The next one, you know, is respect. Respect. Sometimes these things, we overlook it because we think it's it is an easy thing to practice but indirectly not everybody's mind or attention has been drawn onto this kind of value hallelujah so that a christian value is to what be conscious that god has created all people in his image as i said earlier on you know god has created us in his image so first peter chapter 2 verse 17 it says that show proper respect to everyone love the family of believers fear god honor the emperor hallelujah so showing respect to everyone you know and also what loving the family of believers believers you know, within our local surroundings or in, in our local church. Everybody within the local church is a believer. Now, the word of God is telling us that we should show respect to everybody. Everybody. And one of the most important things about respect is that, you know, it automatically demonstrates uh, uh, your, 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 your level of 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 christianity 
you know, respect, demonstrate your level of Christianity. There are some people, they think that going to church alone is a form uh, for everybody to see uh, is a form that they fear and respect God. But then, when they are outside the church, mind you, these values that I'm talking about are not only inside the church. They must be demonstrated outside the church as well. But some people only demonstrate it in the church. And when they are outside the church, they forget these values. As a child of God, your values can never be changed. Christian values do not change in any way, in any form. It is what it is before creation, during creation, and after creation. So the values of God that is in us do not change. Love does not change. Unity does not change. Respect does not change. These things, they don't change. They don't change. If they are changing in your life, then as a believer, there is something wrong somewhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our next thing that we're going to go on is peace. Peace is a vital thing that as Christians, if, you know, we want to, we want to win, win our surroundings for God. If we want to possess the nation for God, if you want to, you know, win one of your friends, you know, for God, or if you want God to use you to win souls for him, one of the things that you need to keep among yourselves is peace peace is a vital thing and it's a vital too that as children of god we are supposed to keep because it is one of our values god in the word of god god does not encourage his children to go and set confusion anywhere god does not encourage his children not, not, not to not to create peace wherever they are but he encourages them to create peace. And he has even promised us to give us peace in John 14, 27. Hallelujah. So peace is a vital thing. You know, and Romans chapter 14, verse 19, it says that, Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace. Hallelujah. And mutual edification. We have to do whatever we can. Because peace is, is a Christian value. It's a godly value. That as a child of God, you cannot throw it away and do what you like. In fact, if you are at peace with your neighbor, if you are at peace within your surroundings, people tend to you know, draw more closer to you, not because of anything, because they know that when they come to you, they can find some comfort, you know, they can get some harmony, you know, they can obtain some source of respect, unity, joy, a bond between you and that person. So it is very, very important to demonstrate peace because demonstrating peace alone can win somebody for God. That you may not be aware of. Hallelujah. I will read and I will let you know one of the reasons why. If you don't keep the value of God. Yeah. If you don't keep the value of God. Some of the things that can happen in your life. You know. Because all these values that I'm saying. They are for a specific reason. And the main reason is for salvation purposes. You know, they are in us for us to act on them. Keeping these values helps, you know, you to grow maturely. It helps you to grow in the shape that God wants you to grow. You know, it helps you to be the child of God that God wants you to be. It helps you to be like grow into the perfection that God wants you to grow into. First of all, all these things that I'm talking about. Christ came to demonstrate them. That is why he has been the only example for, 
to ever exist without sin. The only example to ever exist, you know, with no fault, no issue. The only perfect being that has ever existed is Christ. And this Christ that I'm talking about is our Savior. And he is the one that we are looking up to for the next generation to come and see us to say that indeed we have been holding on to the values of God. You know, and therefore they are also going to follow us. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let me give you one story in the Bible and then we stand on it to pray. You know, the question is, what caused Judas to betray Jesus? Was he not part of the disciples? The disciples had value. The value of unity. Because you could see that everywhere Christ would go, they are there. Nobody went and left the other. If you read the Bible, it tells you that the disciples were together. Whilst Christ was on this earth, the disciples were together 24-7. One do not go and leave the other. But what happened to Judas? What came into the mind of Judas to forego the values and the principles that he has been taught, you know, within the Christian group and, you know, to betray Jesus Christ. I am talking about if you try to cut yourself away from God, you know, if you don't think or if you don't act in creating peace, if you don't, if, if you don't demonstrate the spirit of unity, if you don't demonstrate the spirit of love, if you don't demonstrate the spirit of faith in you as a child of God, you create a vacancy. And that vacancy, the enemy can use it so dangerously that by the time you realize that, it's too late. That is what happened to Judas. He has been with God, Christ, and the disciples all this while for years. But just because he gave himself the opportunity, you know, trying to distance himself by thinking about other things that are physically beneficial but spiritually disadvantaged, we can all we all got to see the other, you know, the ending of Judas. That is what happens as a child of God. If you don't create unity among yourselves and you distance yourself, it creates a vacancy for the enemy to come in. And the enemy can do so many things in your life that you will not even understand. That by the time you come back, you know, to your senses, he has already caused the damage. He has already caused the damage. So it is very important, hallelujah, to hold on to the Christian values. It is very important to, you know, have peace in your surroundings. It is very, very important to, 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 to have faith, to keep the unity. Unity, I am emphasizing on unity because in this current life, in this current generation that we live in, Unity is the only thing that Christians or children of God, we need. That value of unity is what we need to stand firm, to be able to stand on our grounds, you know, to withstand all the forces that are coming from north, south, east, and west. Unity is a key. Now, Many people are on social media with so many different forms of messages. Now, if you are a child of God and you are not rooted in the word of God and are not united with other believers within the church, within the locals, I am telling you, you can easily be snatched away from what you see or what you hear other people talk about. Hallelujah. 
Kaba hatata. Reshata kabara bro libra sata kaba hatos yate. Masinte retete regebere dos yata. Rijata kaba hatata. Rashata kaba hatata rakabara dos yata. Re kaba hatata. Rakabara paparagabara do. Beloved, we are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rijata kabara do siyande retete. Rashanda kabahatata. Rekata kabahato siyata rakabahata. Rashente retete gebere do siyata. Libra shata kabahatata. We are going to pray. These are some of the values that God wants us to keep. God has given us the power that we should be, we, that you know we should use to work in these values. The people in the book of Genesis 11, they said that let us you know make name for ourselves as a child of God. If we demonstrate, you know, the value or the Christian value of love, unity peace, you know, faith everywhere. Your integrity is everywhere. You know, like even in your absence, your legacy can still, you know, be felt. And that is why today we still rely on Christ because Christ kept the values. He kept these values that no other person has been able to keep. And that is why he is still the example of our leader till today. And he will forever be. And as children of God, we must be able to demonstrate these values. You know, today, many people are moving from places to places, jumping from places to places because that unity is not there. That love is not there. That peace is not there. As I bring my message to an end, Libra Shata Kabarados Yatete. We are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Unity can take us to another level. This Christian value can take us to another level. It can take us to places. Peace can take us to places. Keeping peace with your neighbor. Keeping peace with other believers, you know, within your surrounding can take you to places, places that you can never think of. I'm not talking about physical places, but people can look up to you and then they will, they will yearn to have Christ in their lives. In other words, you'll be winning souls for God, in, you know, like, like indirectly without even being aware of it. Hallelujah. Kaba re pa kaba hatata. I want you to open your mouth and pray, 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 pray and thank God, oh God. Thank God for the message that has come. In the name of Jesus, O God. If you read Genesis chapter 11, you know, the Bible says that the people were speaking one language. So it was easy for them to understand. Now, as a child of God, so far as you call yourself a child of God or a Christian, I want to let you know that there is a language that you need to understand and that is the heavenly language if you come into christ there is a value there's a principle that you need to keep the principle of heavenly language you know you must be able to understand what god is trying to tell you 
And if we're able to understand these things, it is easy to pass them on. And many a time, God speaks to, to us within our surroundings, within our believing churches, where any believing church that you are in, God speaks to you. And that language is what I'm talking about right now. That you must be able to keep the language and understand and act on it. We also said that the people were speaking with one language. So it was easy for them to understand every decision they make. They understood each other. You know, if you are not deeply rooted in God, you cannot understand, you know, your fellow believer, your fellow Christian. You must be deeply rooted in God to understand the language that you you both speak hallelujah ka pa hata ta le bra sha ta ka bara lo sia ta hi andere ge bere lo sia ta the people understood that legacy is instead of let us make name for ourselves as christians or as children of god or as believers the name that we need to make for ourselves is the name of salvation you know the salvation name we need to make name for ourselves by thinking about you know the souls that needs to be won these are christian values if you're a child of god and you don't have the value of salvation in you then there is something wrong somewhere if you're a believer and you don't have the value of salvation in you there is something wrong somewhere so we are going to pray and tell god the lord Help me to grow in my Christian values. Help me to act and, you know, help me to walk in them. The Lord they will be physically, you know, seen by others. You know, that people can easily see the values that are in me. And Lord, they will come closer to you. In the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray. Rashaka bahatata. Rekata kapahata Libra sata kabarade mahin tere bere bere bos yata yanda rapa para kabarado yata rejata kapahata ta rapa kapahate masete retete libra sata kapahata rasanta rakapahata le katara kabarado yata yanda rapa para kabarado yante rasite terekke le kapahata ta la kabarado yata in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. One of the values, you know, that you need to keep as a child of God is the value of faith. You know, faith. Faith is so precious to the extent that if you don't understand it, you easily find your own explanation and walk in them. Hallelujah. Or you easily lose hope and do anything that you feel like doing. But faith is a solid foundation that as a believer you need to have. It is the, it's actually the main foundation that will help you to act on these things that I have previously said. Hallelujah. You know, try and keep the faith as a child of God. You know, it's a valuable resource that God does not want any of his children to lose. Hallelujah. That's why with faith, hmm? All things are possible, but without faith, it is impossible. Without faith, it is impossible according to the word of God. He said it is impossible to please God. It means that even without faith, you can never win souls for God. One, without even without faith, your own life on this earth can never be complete. Without faith, I, I don't know, but there is nothing that you can do that can be successful without faith. Every little thing in your life has to do with faith. Every idea, motive, understanding you have in the world has to do with faith. Within your Christian group, you need to have faith so you all can build together. Hallelujah. 
So we are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Father, help me to act on these values. These values that Lord who have planted in me, help me to act on them. Let's open our mouth and pray right now. Rasha kapahatata, repa kaparatos yante, ajinde regeberedos yata, rikala bara 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 bos yata, rejata kapahatata, rapa kapahatata, rejata kaparate, masente retete, rianda rakabarados yata, kita kapahatata, rasha kaparados yanta, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, like we like we 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 always say. Faith is invincible, but it is deeply felt in the spirit. It's deeply felt, you know, within your soul. And then it manifests physically, you know, with, 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 with the operation of these things that I have talked about. Love, you know, peace, unity, joy. So these things, like, they go hand in hand. The values, the, or the, the Christian values, they go hand in hand. You cannot leave one and do the others. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of God. La sianda rapa kabarados yande regeberedos yatatan. Reja takapahatos yatarabaraden. He says that come unto me, all those who are weary and heavily, you know, you no, know, no any burden on you Christ said that come unto me come unto me and you have rest the only person that is supposed to give us rest is God hallelujah so anything any brain you know any war any anything at all preventing you from working in the Christian values the Bible said that we should come in you know before God and he will give us rest God wants to give us rest to start a new journey again. Hallelujah. So I want you to surrender yourself unto God. That Lord, I'm coming to you once again. That Lord, you prepare me once again to uphold the Christian values. To uphold the values, you know, that you have planted into me. To help me walk in these values. I come before you, Lord. Take away every burden for me. Take away every burden, O oh God. Take away every burden, O oh God. I want you to open my mouth and pray. The Lord, take away every burden. Take away every burden. Take away every burden. And help me to walk in these values. Help me to walk in these values. Rasha kapahata. Le kapara pala kapahata. Masha kabarados yata. Yandara kabarados yante. Resente de geberedos yata. Raka pahatus yente le geberedos yata. Yantara gabarados yata. Re kapahata. Rasha takapahata. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You know, the Christian journey is in one direction. And that direction is Jesus Christ. But in that direction, there are various, various, you know, ways in Christ, there are various ways, and these various ways are, you know, are the values. If we look at Christ, he obtained all these values. Now, I encourage you to practice these values. They look so easy, and they look so simple, but many a times, we forget them. And we tend to think about the big, big ones, the big picture. You know, but there is nothing more than having peace within, you know, among yourselves with your neighbor. There is nothing greater than uniting with your fellow believer, you know, your fellow believer 
you know, with one idea that that is about so winning. You know, there is nothing greater or bigger than love. You know, these are the basic values, but very vital that God wants us to keep. So from now on, demonstrate love. Wherever you find yourself to be, demonstrate love. Hallelujah. Wherever you find yourself to be, demonstrate peace, demonstrate joy, demonstrate happiness, you know, demonstrate unity, demonstrate faith. Faith. Did you know that somebody can just look at you, yeah, and have a conversation with you and your way of talking to that person alone, you know, can convince the person, you know, into Christ. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And from today, may you, may you walk, you know, in your Christian values as an image of God. You possess the values of God. From today, I cause you to walk in them. I cause you to walk in them. In the name of Jesus, be united as the people of Babylon. Be united. You know, as Christian believers, be united as the people of Babylon. Understand yourselves in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. Libra shata kapahatata, mahinde legebere dos yata, yanta kapahatu siente legebere den, re shata kapahatata, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. From today, you are walking in your Christian values, within your surroundings, within your local church, everywhere you find yourselves to be, whether in school, at work, at home. Everywhere, everywhere, may you walk in your Christian values. May you demonstrate them in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it's your servant, Emmanuel. God willing, we will meet again. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.